Hey there, this is Teacher Lab Podcast, episode 220, Hack Your Brain and Stay Motivated. Do you struggle with speaking English? Does it block you from achieving your true goals? Are you tired of lacking confidence? This podcast is the place for you. This is Teacher Ola podcast. My name is Ola Mirniczak. I'm a teacher empowering English learners to become confident speakers. I firmly believe that the key to fluency is in your pocket. Join my top people newsletter for weekly motivation and free materials. Enjoy your journey to fluency. Happy learning. Hey there, welcome to today's episode. Today I'm going to share something that has changed my work and I know this one simple tip I'm going to give away today can be used in various areas of life. Learning, work, dieting, exercising. It's a universal tip for achieving goals and I've heard about it in Huberman's podcast, which I always recommend to anyone who's interested in how we humans work. So the thing is, your goal has been set. I mean, you've set your goal, you've decided what exactly you are going to be doing every day to achieve that level of confidence in English. A side note, if you have no idea how to plan your learning, you can A, contact me by email or Instagram and set a 30-minute free consultation and I will tell you what to do. Or B, you can go to episode 76 and follow the protocol, the precise plan I share there. Now, let's say you're at this point when you know what to do and you know you want it. You need that confidence and fluency in English and you know it. Okay, so now you're in a good place, but not in a perfect one because bad days do happen. There will be days when you feel zero motivation and it's only natural. So now what to do? This is the topic of our today's episode. What to do when you feel zero motivation for learning English? We'll get there in a moment, but first let me tell you what to do on a regular day when you learn English and you are feeling okay with your level of motivation. And let me digress again before we jump in. What I'm telling you today is not something you should start with. You should start with setting your goal, with assigning specific time for it. Let's say two 30-minute sessions per day. Secondly, you need to know what you're going to be doing. It's not like, I'm going to learn English today. It's crazy. This is not going to work. That's way too general. You have to be specific and your action has to be measurable. So I'm talking about it a lot in Seoul, Say It Out Loud online course that is being built still. Be patient. By the way, if you sign up to my newsletter, teacherola.com forward slash newsletter, you will get informed when the course is ready. And if you complete the survey I'll send after you sign up at teacherola.com forward slash newsletter, you'll get a solid discount in the pre-sale. Back to the main topic. So today we're not dealing with goal setting, but with one specific obstacle that will for sure appear on your path to your goal. What to do when you feel like crap and you are not happy to do your daily learning session. Please wait, I'll tell you what to do in a moment. It's been tested, it's been proven, I've tested this on myself, it does wonders, guys. Okay, but first, let's say you are feeling okay with your daily task, you are motivated, you are happy to do the work. I got this again from Huberman Lab, so go ahead and listen to the whole episode and learn more about goal reaching. I love the idea, I've implemented it, and because I believed it would work, it did. Now, before you do your daily English task, you gotta set a timer for like two or three minutes and close your eyes. I also like to, for instance, look at some photos that help me visualize my future after I've achieved my goal. So close your eyes before you do any work. Close your eyes and imagine your future with fluent English. Okay, so see yourself 
doing absolutely fantastic at that job interview, at that call with a client, at that conference, at that English speaking meeting, at that hotel, at that restaurant. Be specific and visualize, see in your mind's eye your goal achieved. And don't roll your eyes. It's not a woo-woo. It's not some BS. It's not wishful thinking. It's science. That's how our brains work. You have to show your brain what is possible and why it's important for you to focus on this task today. Before your daily action, your English learning session, do this one thing. Close your eyes and see yourself at that international conference speaking to everyone without any problem. See yourself confidently speaking English at work, confidently speaking English at those calls with foreign clients and so on. You know your goal best. It is highly important. Always start your learning session with that free and proven method. Okay. If you have a bad day, so-called bad day, you feel zero motivation to do, to do the course or to do your learning session, set your alarm clock for two or three minutes and visualize, but, and listen now, something very, very different. Think about consequences. What will happen if you skip this learning session? What will you feel? How will you feel if you don't show up today? Feel that disappointment, you know? Feel it. How will you feel if you stay in that workplace for another year? Feel those feelings. I know it's not a pleasure, but it works. Y'all, you've got to do your thing. You've got to complete your daily English practice. Negative emotions, which you arouse by envisioning those negative consequences, will help your brain activate certain neurochemicals and push you to do the thing you don't feel like doing. See, achieving fluency is in fact super easy. It's not a rocket science at all. But you know what's the problem? The problem is that doing, that not doing, actually, that not doing these easy things, daily tasks, small actions, not doing them is also very easy. So you've got to do what you've got to do. If you're okay, visualize the positive outcome. If you're not motivated on a given day, if you're not okay, visualize negative consequences. Try this method for a few weeks and see where it takes you. I'm sure you've found something that will help you to go on through the rough patch of lack of motivation. If so, please reach out to me on Instagram, screenshot this episode and publish on your socials or send it to a friend who might find this helpful. Now, let's practice. Listen to the sentences and repeat them out loud. It's a universal tip for achieving goals. It's a universal tip for achieving goals. There will be days when you feel zero motivation. There will be days when you feel zero motivation. So now what to do? So now what to do? You have to be specific and your action has to be measurable. You have to be specific and your action has to be measurable. One specific obstacle that will for sure appear on your path to your goal. One specific obstacle that will for sure appear on your path to your goal. I've tested this on myself. It does wonders. I've tested this on myself. It does wonders.
Imagine your future with fluent English. Imagine your future with fluent English. Don't roll your eyes. Don't roll your eyes. Think about consequences. Think about consequences. It's not rocket science. It's not rocket science. Here you have it. Catch me on Instagram. Let me know you're a podcast listener. Let me know you've tried visualization. Don't forget to complete the worksheet for this episode. It's available at teacherola.com forward slash 220. Or you've got it in your inbox if you're a member of Top People. I'll be back next week. Until then, stay fearless. Keep speaking and take care. My name's Ola Mjorniczak and you were listening to Teacher Ola Podcast. Bye for now. Till next time.